What is up, Young Nation? It's me. And to you newcomers, you don't know me, so my name is Brady Young. But I have not done a video in two weeks, and I am so sorry about that. But I am very excited to tell you some more about the third book that has come out in my Darkest Light series. Curse of the First. Yeah, baby. Like, this is such a bright, vibrant book cover, and I love it. Like, mmm, mmm. It is so deceiving, though, because you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover. Because, honestly, this book might be bright. It might be looking all happy. <laughs> oh, you have no idea what's inside it. Because that's what's so funny, because when you look at, I don't know, the first book, you look, it's it's dark cover. It's It's dark. You can see a little bit of the characters, and yet it's not that dark of a book. Well, at least in my opinion, anyway, because then the second one gets darker than this one. You're going to have to read it to find out. Because it can get a little messed up at some points. And it's so amazing. Oh, but don't... Oh, but don't you worry. The fourth and fifth book? Woo! <laughs> oh, but I'm just going to talk about what you can expect without spoiling in Darkest Light Book 3, Curse... Of the first! You can definitely expect fear from you readers. Because right on the book, it says, who will survive? And when you have read the first and second book, you know very well, I will kill characters. <laughs> I'll kill them all. <laughs> I feel like it's so morbid to say, but I, I'm laughing at it. But in truth, like, when I actually write certain things, like a character death or a happy moment, like, I actually start taking off and just like, oh my gosh. And so writing this third book, it was very much I had to decide what was going to happen. And some things happen because, like I've explained to other people, it's battle. Things happen. We've seen in Avengers, they've killed off people. We've seen in DC, they've killed people. We've seen and all these things all these comic book movies, TV shows, everything, they're not afraid to kill off a character. Why? Because when you are fighting supervillains, things happen. And sometimes it's not things that we like. Sadly enough, I'm not ready for this next season of Arrow. Oh no. <laughs> but with the characters, they've grown from book two. Some of them have changed drastically, some of them have stayed the same. And what I mean with that is some of them have become more edgier. Some of them have gotten down, dirty, and gritty. Some of them will put the beat down on a criminal that normally you would think would be reserved for, I don't know, the Watcher. Because Watcher, he's the one that does not care. He will beat down and he will kill people. Some of these other heroes, after everything that's happened, after everything Inferno and the Wildfire have put them through, oh... Oh, they have changed. They got to a point of they no longer care. They, If they're going to put someone down, they're going to make sure that they're down for a long time, if not down for the rest of life. Like, there's such a drastic change in some of the characters. Some of it is very subtle. Some of it is just right there. You can see it. And just the terms of story, like, this is a significantly shorter book. But, oh, the story's got so many more juicier details, and I tease so many things. I just want you all to be able to email me, message me, and go, I want more! Because that's what I do to some of the authors I love. I just sit there, I'm reading the book, and I get done one, I'm just like, I want more! And that's what I want out of you guys when you read this book. Like, this book, oh, the character that changed, the story gets even more teasing towards all of you. Man, this book... Oh, I am so happy with it. I'm so proud of how it has turned out. Like, it is such an amazing book that you guys should definitely go and buy it. All right, if you have not bought any of my books yet, I highly recommend that you do. I've gotten really great reviews on it. If you don't believe me, go to my Amazon. Well, go to the Amazon pages for the first book. I'm gonna check the second book page. But I also got a judge review of my first book, and he said it was really well written. I keep. I kept the readers involved and interested throughout the entire book, so you guys should definitely go and read that. 
Oh, I'm sorry for the shameless self-advertising, but you know. But if you guys want to go and find out what I mean when I say that the characters have become grittier, that the story is just so juicy with some nice details, you can go and buy it from the link below. You can even go on, on to Amazon.com, Amazon.ca, but you can also go in through my website. And those links will be down below, just like all my socials will. This is really all I wanted to say, because I wanted to tease you a bit with the third story. I wanted to tell you that the characters have changed a bit. Some of them are ones that are very loved. Some of them are just ones that you love so much, you could cry over. Oh. But that's all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to follow me on my socials down below. Don't forget to check out my books. Don't forget. Don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget to go, don't forget to comment down below, don't forget to like, and don't forget to subscribe, and hit that bell notification, punch it! So you know when I put out a video. But I'll see you all next time. Bye!